The climate crisis dominates the headlines in the media today. We are constantly being fed the narrative that we are failing in the fight against climate change and that the UN's sustainable development goals are unlikely to be achieved by 2030. We are Nick and Talia. And in collaboration with Startup Lounge Africa, we are embarking on a mission to tell the positive stories of sustainable innovation across the world by meeting some of the most innovative entrepreneurs in the sustainability space who are implementing solutions that their countries, regions and our planet require to thrive. And, most importantly, we want to show that if we get behind and scale up these innovations, we can, in fact, achieve the UN's SDGs. This is our sustainable world. We're making a documentary series on sustainable innovation, and in this episode, we're covering... Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a drone. In this episode, we're looking at how drones and data collection are transforming industries across Malawi and all of Africa. Unfortunately, the use of drones in warfare has accelerated since the Russia-Ukraine war, but we have come to the African Drone and Data Academy in Malawi to learn how drones are being used for good. From delivering essential medicines to tracking the impact of natural disasters, drones have the ability to solve many of mankind's toughest challenges through data collection, transportation of goods, and video capture. Drone technology is just a tool for data collection. What we do with the data is what changes people's lives. To some, drones seem like a thing of the future. The sound of a drone has the ability to strike fear, hope and excitement. Whilst there are those that use human ingenuity to wreak havoc and destruction on the world, there are also those who use it for good. And a brilliant example of that is here in Malawi at the African Drone and Data Academy, where students from all over Africa are being taught how to build and pilot drones for good. The African Drone and Data Academy started in 2020. Our program is structured into the online cohort and the in-person cohorts. So what we actually do is we try to give the people this theory online before they come here. So for the people learn flight physics, aerodynamics of the drone, what to consider when designing a drone and so on and so forth. How can I use the data that I collect using drone imagery? So how to process the data, how to turn it into meaningful information that people can use for decision making. Knowing how to, to fly a drone isn't something of a big issue, but being able to use the drone data to provide a solution. Because as a person, as an instructor, or as um, a wind ride aero specialist, we believe in providing solutions using the data that we collect uh, with the drone. So drone, drone technology is just a tool for data collection. What we do with the data is what uh, changes people's lives. So we are looking at providing solutions to the people. Recently, uh, ADD was part of um, a team that was collecting data during Cyclone Freddy. Um, so that in itself is also some great impact when it comes to the different sectors that drones and data are being used in. The African Drone and Data Academy is the first step in building out the drone sector in Malawi and Africa. I talked with Ender Pile and McLean to understand what it's like to be part of this initiative and learn a bit about drones myself. Can you tell me a little bit about what it's like to be an instructor here at ADA? Okay, um, so I've been working with the ADD for about four years now. I want to cook four years in April. So I've, I've been doing this for a long time. Um, and I can say that it's pretty fulfilling because I do get to interact with a lot of people with very diverse backgrounds because as the ADDA we do recruit people with different educational backgrounds and also students from all over Africa. So you get, as much as you're learning, you also get to experience different cultures, right? So um, I can say that um, I've been part of the team that's helped um, shape the drone and data landscape here in Africa and it's very nice to see our students that come from ADLTA out doing great things in the drone industry as well. So it's, it's pretty fulfilling. 
I am here with McLean, who is an instructor here at ADDA and is also a startup founder in the drone sector in Malawi. Thank you so much, McLean, for inviting me here to the Innovation Lab here at the University of Science and Technology. Oh, well, you are welcome. Thank you. So, yeah, so my great. first question is, yes. how far can this drone fly? Okay. Uh, on fully charged battery, it can go up to 18 kilometers. And you can attach things to yes. this drone, so for example, a camera. Yes, yes. So this drone is, uh, you can attach whatever payload you want to attach to. You can attach a camera, a spraying system. We have the same student attaching a spraying system to the drone. Okay, and um, at the ADDA, you're teaching students how to build the drones as well as flying them, yes. and then also using the drone to collect data. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Is there any other skills that you are teaching the students whilst being in this lab? Uh, for someone to build this drone, you need to do things like connecting wires, which is known as solder. So students learn, learn, learn how to solder. Okay, so students also learn how to program the drone self. So you connect to a computer and then you can program the drone and try to add in whatever you want to do. So we teach that apart from just flying the drone set and we go into details on how each component works like uh, this what are these type of morals uh, how do you communicate and all, all other things and am i allowed to touch the drone yes yeah touch. i can pick it up yeah, you can pick it up yes. It yes oh it's really light <laughs> yes okay would it be possible for us to go out and see a drone in action now One of the key outcomes of the Academy is their encouragement and support for their students to go on to create businesses in the drone sector, whilst sharing their expertise with new cohorts of students. Uh, so entrepreneurship is also a big part of um, the impacts that ADDA hopes to have in the long run since its uh, start of operations. Micromech, Windride Arrows, Drone X, Cage, Drone Solutions, all these are companies that were founded to graduates from the African Drone and Data Academy, and they have been able to uh, make an impact doing projects in waste management, drone delivery, and aerial mapping for disaster risk assessment, disaster risk management, and preparedness. Uh, when uh, Wind Red Arrows was set up in 2021 November uh, by our co founders, two of our co founders, which are my uh, fellow instructors at the African Drone and Data Academy uh, have been found that there was a data uh, gap yeah, in the drone industry. So we wanted to be providers for data uh, in, the, uh, in the different sectors uh, that are there. Our startup uh, is known as Drone X Technologies. It was also founded in 2021. Uh, we have worked on a couple of projects. Uh, one of them, which is the recent one, where I'm uh, trying to look at the bi biodiversity distribution between protected areas and unprotected areas. So this was more of an aerial mapping project. Our time at the African Drone and Data Academy has taught us that advanced technologies such as drones, when used for good, can greatly benefit the world in a number of ways. But our time here has also taught us the importance of supporting entrepreneurs to solve challenges that are arising both in their communities and further afield. So for those that, are, that would, uh, would want to follow in my footsteps, they should first of all look at the communities. What solutions can they provide? Because that's the most important thing, uh, being in the drone industry. What do you bring? What solutions do you bring? So given that you've learned these skills, how, uh, how can I use the data that I collect and then provide solutions to the communities that I live in? So that's the advice I'll give. Uh, to the young men, young women that would like to follow in my footsteps. Thank you.